everyone. Hope you all keep good. These days, everyone is talking about cricket, cricket, cricket. They are getting crazy about it. What went wrong to India and all these discussions going on and history is repeating. Whatever it is, let's see on Sunday what is going to happen. I'm going to discuss about this for a few minutes with you guys. Come with me. Yes, uh, whatever, whatever India did in that uh, semi-final against England went wrong. Because I also feel like destiny is written somewhere this time. Yes, people do say that Pakistan did qualify by <laughs> magic, magical power or something like that. They, in 1992, um, in ODI series, they defeated New Zealand in semi-finals and then they played against England in the finals and they defeated England in the finals. So they do expect the same repetition this time in T20. After 30 long years, would you believe it? People have so many things to say. Yes, it can it can become yeah he got it out. <laughs> it can become uh, like that. History can be repeated. But as far as I think, what Pakistan did in this series is quite admirable. They lost to India in their first game. That game they should have won definitely. They played very well. They did everything right and in the end their key fast bowlers didn't click at the right time. They gave away almost 50 runs in just 3 overs. This is impossible and this doesn't happen. It can only happen in once in blue moon. You know? So that is a good match. They did fight well but they lost it that was the destiny in the end against zimbabwe in their second match they definitely should have won easily because zimbabwe i don't think pakistan have ever lost to zimbabwe only once i hope if they have ever lost in t20 so that is also bad luck but from there onwards they played really well really very good cricket they keep on playing well so I think this is the team that you got to watch out. Maybe history will repeat. I I don't know, but the thing is, next point is their opposition this time, England. This is not the same English team when they played 30 years before. Different era, different players, modern players. England has got everything to win this World Cup. Fortunately, these two teams played each other in Pakistan in very flat pitches. Seven matches, long series. They almost won the series, Pakistan. They were leading maybe halfway. And uh, they were like 3-2 and then they went on to lose 4-2. But each team knows each other's weaknesses and they know their strengths and they each other know that this is not going to be easy this is 50 50. i do really believe that these two teams do deserve to be in the final they are the teams they deserve to be in the final according to how the each team played in this tournament do you agree i hope because Pakistan has quality bowling, yes, any bowler can go for runs in T20 games, but they, are, they have the quality, quality cannot be underestimated, it can come at any time good, but bad bowlers, you cannot depend on them, only luck will turn their way. So, keep an eye on Pakistan bowling and unpredictable batting in the middle order and also reliable opening batsmen if they play well they would do the same what they did what England did to to, to India in the semi-final 
it's hard to get them out sometimes they will keep on batting till the end it, it, it did happen in Pakistan also they chased 200 almost they didn't lose a wicket so you cannot underestimate this dangerous Pakistan team I put my money in Pakistan not because of what they have done in the past what they have done in this series and the quality and the performance that they have shown England I'm afraid to put because they are trying to win the cup Pakistan has nothing to lose that diff that really makes the difference between these two teams I really do believe that when someone is in that attitude in that sort of atmosphere it's so easy that's what happened to Pakistan when they played against South Africa they didn't have nothing to lose at that time they were so free they did really well and still they are in that mood because they were not hoping to win the World Cup when they entered to the ground early morning when not knowing what would happen whether Netherlands could beat South Africa or Zimbabwe can defeat India or all this but it did happen and it's so nice to see that this is how this tournament turned around things are changing you can expect what I am saying right now I did explain in my uh, community post also that India cannot win this time against uh, England and it did happen and uh, I knew it because I also agree that history do repeat this time let's see let's keep our fingers crossed and see what would happen ah. it's not long time it's on Sunday I'll come back to you with a good comments on the day this is the cup of four subcontinent team or England what do you think I doubt that England would win this time thank you for watching